In this session, we are going to learn about sign conventions used in structural analysis. In this session, we will focus on planar structures or 2D structures and we use mainly two different sign conventions. First one is simplified vector notation. This is used for writing equilibrium equations. Also for writing force displacement equations. and also for writing moment rotation equation. And this is mainly applicable for force forces for moments couples and torques for fixed end moments and end moments. So in simplified vector notation we take for force we take one direction as positive and the opposite direction is negative. So for example I have horizontal direction and I have vertical in horizontal if I take right side or right word pointing forces to be positive then I take left word pointing forces to be negative similarly I take upward pointing forces to be positive then I will take downward pointing forces to be negative and for moments we use a clockwise or anti clockwise sign convention we take clockwise sense of moment is positive and anti clockwise sense of moment is negative now the second sign convention is the one that we use for internal resisting forces and moments for internal forces and moments and first one is axial force now, axial force has two senses first one is tension and compression when a member or bar is in tension then both its ends are pulled apart. So this will be a bar in tension and if a member is in compression then both of its ends are pushed inward. So this bar is in compression and we take tension to be positive and compression to be negative. Now in a structure we have different members and if we cut the member at any cross section then we expose 
two surfaces and if this member at this section is in tension then the right face exposed will have a force in right direction and the left face will have the tensile force pointing in left direction and both these forces are positive and equal in magnitude but their direction appears to be opposite so we have to be very careful for a member cut at a cross section we expose two faces one face is on the right side one face is on the left side for face on right side tensile force is denoted by right pointing arrow and on the left side the tensile force is represented or denoted by arrow pointing in left direction and both these arrows denote positive force positive axial force or tensile force similarly for a member in compression when i cut the member at any cross section i expose two surfaces and for compressive force or negative force the face on right will have arrow pointing in left direction and on the face in left side will have arrow pointing in right direction and both these denote negative force so when drawing free body diagram for a segment we have to be careful to show the positive direction for axial force for shear force for shear force we use this is positive sense for shear force and this is negative sense for shear force here we note that for a right face a downward pointing arrow is positive and for left face upward pointing arrow is positive for right face upward pointing arrow is negative and for left face downward pointing arrow is negative so in a free body diagram when we cut a beam at a cross section and we need to show positive shear force then we have to be careful about the direction of arrow that we show so i'll show the direction for or i'll show positive directions for the arrows so i have cut my beam at this cross section i have exposed two faces this one is right face and this one is left face and if i want to show positive shear forces then for right face the downward arrow will denote positive shear force and for left face upward arrow will show positive shear force so here both these arrows denote shear force of equal magnitude say v v and both of them denote positive shear force so in drawing free body diagram for a beam segment we have to show the positive sense for unknown shear force so that we get correct shear force diagram third one is bending moment for bending moment we use sagging or hogging sign convention sagging shows smiley kind of deformation for beam and hogging shows reverse of smiley kind of deformation so the moment arrows for sagging at both ends will be like this and for hogging they will be like this sagging is taken as positive moment and hogging is taken as 
negative moment and here again note that on the right end anti-clockwise sense is positive and at left end clockwise sense is positive. In hogging at right end clockwise sense is negative and at left end anti-clockwise sense is negative. 